Hollister Hovey discusses their heirloom style. Our book is a look inside the beautiful homes filled with objects that tell the stories of the people and families who live in them. The theme is particularly dear to us. Our mom had incredible tastes and always drove us to have strong, independent aesthetic visions. She died a little over 10 years ago now, and as a conscious and subconscious memorial to her, we've decorated the loft we share in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, very much in her memory. An Hermes scarf she bought in the 1970s on a trip to Paris hangs over our mantel. Her favorite candle holders are scattered all around our tabletops. The Venetian mirror she prized hangs in our entry. Pillows she needlepointed sit on our couch. And that's just a start. All of these things gave her so much joy when she was alive. And for us, they're beautiful pieces that help keep a little part of our wonderful mom in our daily lives, even though she's gone. We grew up with these objects and always associated them with home. Today, that familiarity makes our apartment feel that much more inviting, and truly ours. As little girls, we'd spend hours with her combing through antique stores and flea markets in Lincoln, Nebraska, and Kansas City. We've continued that as adults and have built our own collections that reflect our mom's taste in objects. But all the trunks, boxes, toy soldiers, and taxidermy we found around the world provide a new context for our mom's things and make our apartment uniquely our own. This has been a big subject on the lifestyle blog that I've written for the past four years. When we started looking out for this in other homes as we planned the book, we realized that almost all of the places we found most beautiful also happened to be filled with objects that had a story of family or friends behind them. While all the spaces in the book are beautiful, the stories give the book and these homes their soul. This isn't a book about living in the past. It's about having an honest appreciation for the people and lives that were lived before us and what that means today. Truly modern thinking takes the past into consideration. It's about incorporating that into our lives to make the current that much more relevant and interesting. It also makes a pretty beautiful home. Our mom always taught us to dream big, but not forget where we came from. In my mind, that's the best decorating advice anyone could provide.